Unit 6. General Condition of Health. Vocabulary. Listen carefully and repeat please. Vocabulary. Listen carefully and repeat please. Abscess. 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 An abscess is a pocket of pus, a thick, yellow liquid. You can get an abscess almost anywhere in your body. Anemia. 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 Anemia is a condition in which you lack enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to your body's tissues. Cirrhosis. 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 Cirrhosis is the result of long-term, continuous damage to the liver and may be due to many different causes. Hepatitis. 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 Hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver that can cause a range of health problems and can be fatal. Jaundice. 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 Jaundice is a condition that causes skin and the whites of the eyes to turn yellow. Dehydration. 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 Dehydration happens when your body doesn't have as much water as it needs. Gallbladder. 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 The gallbladder is a small organ in the body, connected to the liver that stores bile, a bitter liquid that helps to digest food. Listen and choose the correct answer. If you are an excellent student you will answer after the first time you listen. If not you can listen again two more times. Listen and choose the correct answer. If you are an excellent student you will answer after the first time you listen. If not you can listen again two more times. Dehydration happens when your body doesn't have as much water as it needs. Dehydration happens when your body doesn't have as much water as it needs. Dehydration happens when your body doesn't have as much water as it needs. Cirrhosis is the result of long-term, continuous damage to the liver and may be due to many different causes. Cirrhosis is the result of long-term, continuous damage to the liver and may be due to many different causes. Cirrhosis is the result of long-term, continuous damage to the liver and may be due to many different causes. 
Anemia is a condition in which you lack enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to your body's tissues. Anemia is a condition in which you lack enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to your body's tissues. Anemia is a condition in which you lack enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to your body's tissues. An abscess is a pocket of pus, a thick, yellow liquid. You can get an abscess almost anywhere in your body. An abscess is a pocket of pus, a thick, yellow liquid. You can get an abscess almost anywhere in your body. An abscess is a pocket of pus, a thick, yellow liquid. You can get an abscess almost anywhere in your body. The gallbladder is a small organ in the body, connected to the liver, that stores bile, a bitter liquid that helps to digest food. The gallbladder is a small organ in the body, connected to the liver, that stores bile, a bitter liquid that helps to digest food. The gallbladder is a small organ in the body, connected to the liver, that stores bile, a bitter liquid that helps to digest food. Hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver that can cause a range of health problems and can be fatal. Hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver that can cause a range of health problems and can be fatal. Hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver that can cause a range of health problems and can be fatal. Jaundice is a condition that causes skin and the whites of the eyes to turn yellow. Jaundice is a condition that causes skin and the whites of the eyes to turn yellow. Jaundice is a condition that causes skin and the whites of the eyes to turn yellow. Listen and fill in the gaps. Don't forget to write your answer on a sheet of paper. Are you ready? Let's go. 1. The commonest cause of cirrhosis is alcohol consumption. 1. The commonest cause of cirrhosis is alcohol consumption. 1. The commonest cause of cirrhosis is alcohol consumption. 2. She had an abscess on her gum. 2. She had an abscess on her gum. 2. She had an abscess on her gum. 3. Since there are many causes of jaundice, it's hard to provide specific prevention measures. 3. Since there are many causes of jaundice, it's hard to provide specific prevention measures. 3. Since there are many causes of jaundice, it's hard to provide specific prevention measures. 4. To diagnose anemia, your doctor is likely to ask you about your medical and family history. Perform a physical exam. 4. To diagnose anemia, your doctor is likely to ask you about your medical and family history. Perform a physical exam. 4. To diagnose anemia, your doctor is likely to ask you about your medical and family history. Perform a physical exam. 5. Short-term hepatitis often has no noticeable symptoms, so you may not realize you have it. 5. Short-term hepatitis often has no noticeable symptoms, 
so you may not realize you have it. 5. Short-term hepatitis often has no noticeable symptoms, so you may not realize you have it. Now, listen again and check your answer. 1. The commonest cause of cirrhosis is alcohol consumption. 2. She had an abscess on her gum. 3. Since there are many causes of jaundice, it's hard to provide specific prevention measures. 4. To diagnose anemia, your doctor is likely to ask you about your medical and family history, perform a physical exam. 5. Short-term hepatitis often has no noticeable symptoms, so you may not realize you have it. How to find out what is wrong with a patient? Let's read the questions first. 1. What is the chronic illness? 2. How could you tell that a person has a chronic illness? 3. Why is it important to look at a patient carefully? 1. Bệnh mạng tính là gì? 2. Thế nào thì gọi là người mắc bệnh mạng tính? 3. Tại sao quan sát kỹ người bệnh lại quan trọng? Các bạn hãy viết câu trả lời ra giấy trước đã nhé. Sau đây chúng ta sẽ cùng nhau đọc bài. Before touching the sick person, look at him carefully. Observe how all weak he looks, the way he moves, how he breathes, and how clear his mind seems. Look for signs of dehydration and shock. Before touching the sick person, look at him carefully. Observe how ill or weak he looks, the way he moves, how he breathes, and how clear his mind seems. Look for signs of dehydration and shock. Notice whether the person looks well nourished or poorly nourished. Has he been losing weight? When a person has lost weight slowly over a long period of time, you may have a chronic illness. One that lasts a long time. Notice whether the person looks well nourished or poorly nourished. Has he been losing weight? When a person has lost weight slowly over a long period of time, he may have a chronic illness, one that lasts a long time. Also notice the color of the skin and eyes, paleness, especially of the lips and inside the eyelids, is a sign of anemia. Bluish skin especially blueness or darkness of the lips and fingernails, may mean serious problems with breathing or with the heart. Also notice the color of the skin and eyes. Paleness, especially of the lips and inside the eyelids, is a sign of anemia. Bluish skin, especially blueness or darkness of the lips and fingernails, may mean serious problems with breathing or with the heart. A grayish-white coloring, with cool, Moist skin, often means a person is in shock. Yellow color, jaundice, of the skin and eyes may result from disease in the liver, hepatitis, or cirrhosis, amoeba capsis, or gallbladder. It may also occur in newborn babies. A grayish white coloring, with cool, moist skin, often means a person is in shock. Yellow color, jaundice, of the skin and eyes may result from disease in the liver, hepatitis, or cirrhosis, amoeba capsis, or gallbladder. It may also occur in newborn babies. Suggestions 1. A chronic illness is one that lasts a long time. 2. When a person has lost weight slowly over a long period of time, he may have a chronic illness. 3. Because we can detect the disease that the patient has and do not miss the signs and symptoms of the other diseases. Dựa vào bài đọc, bạn hãy điểm một từ thích hợp vào chỗ trống trong những đoạn văn sau. Before touching the sick person, look at him carefully. Observe how ill or weak he looks, the way he moves, how he breathes, and how clear his mind seems. Look for signs of dehydration and shock. Before touching the sick person, look at him carefully. Observe how ill or weak he looks, the way he moves, how he breathes, 
and how clear his mind seems. Look for signs of dehydration and shock. Before touching the sick person, look at him carefully. Observe how ill or weak he looks, the way he moves, how he breathes, and how clear his mind seems. Look for signs of dehydration and shock. Notice whether the person looks well nourished or poorly nourished. Has he been losing weight? When a person has lost weight slowly over a long period of time, he may have a chronic illness, one that lasts a long time. Notice whether the person looks well nourished or poorly nourished. Has he been losing weight? When a person has lost weight slowly over a long period of time, he may have a chronic illness, one that lasts a long time. Notice whether the person looks well nourished or poorly nourished. Has he been losing weight? When a person has lost weight slowly over a long period of time, he may have a chronic illness, one that lasts a long time. Also notice the color of the skin and eyes, paleness, especially of the lips and inside the eyelids, is a sign of anemia. Bluish skin, especially blueness or darkness of the lips and fingernails, may mean serious problems with breathing or with the heart. Also notice the color of the skin and eyes, paleness, especially of the lips and inside the eyelids is a sign of anemia. Bluish skin, especially blueness or darkness of the lips and fingernails, may mean serious problems with breathing or with the heart. Also notice the color of the skin and eyes, paleness, especially of the lips and inside the eyelids, is a sign of anemia. Bluish skin, especially blueness or darkness of the lips and fingernails, may mean serious problems with breathing or with the heart. A grayish-white coloring, with cool, moist skin, often means a person is in shock. Yellow color, jaundice, of the skin and eyes may result from disease in the liver, hepatitis, or cirrhosis, amoeba capsis, or gallbladder. It may also occur in newborn babies. A grayish-white coloring, with cool, Moist skin, often means a person is in shock. Yellow color, jaundice, of the skin and eyes may result from disease in the liver, hepatitis, or cirrhosis, amoeba capsis, or gallbladder. It may also occur in newborn babies. A grayish-white coloring, with cool, moist skin, often means a person is in shock. Yellow color, jaundice, of the skin and eyes may result from disease in the liver, hepatitis, or cirrhosis, amoeba capsis, or gallbladder. It may also occur in newborn babies. Bây giờ các bạn sẽ cất sách đi và ngủ bên màn hình. Các bạn hãy xem đoạn văn bằng tiếng Việt. Trong đó có những từ in đậm màu đỏ, đó là những từ gợi ý cho bạn dễ dàng điền từ thích hợp vào chỗ trống trong đoạn văn bằng tiếng Anh tương ứng nhé. Chí nhớ tốt sẽ giúp bạn rất nhiều trong bài tập này. Chúc các bạn làm bài tốt. Before touching the sick person, look at him carefully. Observe how ill or weak he looks, the way he moves, how he breathes, and how clear his mind seems. Look for signs of dehydration and shock. Notice whether the person looks well nourished or poorly nourished. Has he been losing weight? When a person has lost weight slowly over a long period of time, he may have a chronic illness, one that lasts a long time. Also notice the color of the skin and eyes, paleness, especially of the lips and inside the eyelids, is a sign of anemia. Bluish skin, especially blueness or darkness of the lips and fingernails, may mean serious problems with breathing or with the heart. A grayish-white coloring, with cool, moist skin, often means a person is in shock. Yellow color, jaundice, of the skin and eyes may result from disease in the liver, hepatitis, or cirrhosis. Amoeba capsis, or gallbladder. It may also occur in newborn babies.